Hello. Um, right. Well, a lot of people seem to have trouble installing uh, XRM into X3AP or x 3 Ethereum config, so I thought I'd make a little guide to show you how to do it. Right. So the first thing you want to do to install XRM is you need to take the Steam game out of its Steam folder into its own little folder where you can keep it and this is because when Steam makes an update it sort of deletes all of like you know everything it deletes all the mods and stuff and screws it up a bit so first thing is find your Steam in where your Steam's installed um, mine it's normally in under computer and program files at times 86 but mine isn't because I need more space so I've got it on my external hard drive and then you go into here common and x return conflict right now this is where all the whole, the whole game is and we're going to be installing it into this one now you can see that mine's modded in here because I, I, I run mine from Steam because I'm not, I'm not supposed I shouldn't really but it just makes my life easier because I have Steam open all the time anyway for other games but so what you want to do is you want to copy vanilla all the vanilla so without modded files mine does have modded files but um, that doesn't matter to me because I've already made a vanilla backup myself and I've done that into here you see vanilla Right, and this is the one I'm going to be installing things into to show you today. Okay, so once you've opened it up, you should be in here, and everything should be normal. And you'll only have this amount of canned apps for AP, and more and more for Terran Conflict, just that's the main files. Um, what you want to do is you want to copy over the Steam, the extra AP no Steam mod. Um, well not mod, but yeah, copy it over into the this main folder. And what that does is means that you can open open the game up without having Steam open. I mean, you need to make sure you've registered the game first for Steam, but after that, everything should be fine. And then, once that's done, just test it. Uh, I always like to test it just to make sure that it does actually run the game. Yep, see that? That's working. And now to install XRM. Right, and I've got mine set here. You see, I've got a lot of mods that I like to install. Um, but these are the ones that we're gonna, I'm going to be showing you how to install because these are the ones that I use for XRM. And now the first part, simply just Control C into the vanilla copy, and you shove those into the add-on and paste them. And this can take a while depending on how fast your machine is or how. Uh, if you've extracted them or not, I personally keep them unextracted just because it saves disk space. And then, and once it's extracted, come on. Right, um, you need to rename the cat and dats to the next highest number. And I always like to keep a keep a notepad file of ha what number I set them to. As you can see, if I go back out here, that's what I use. And both notepad up there for some reason. Right. Um that this is for my AP and we'll be ignoring that because I'm not gonna show you how to install complex cleaner. But these are the bits you need to worry about because they're the cat and dats. And um and that's and actually the this one as well. And uh, I that that's because I've got a cat dat and I have no idea what it is but my game works so I just sort of leave it in. I guess I break anything. But um yeah that, you don't need to worry about that. Um so has that copied over? Yes, it has. Right. So you highlight that F2 and change it to 04. Now change both of them. So that should be 04. Let's let's start a new one down here for for install guide 04 equals XRM part one. Right. Next bit you'd need to do is Go back over here to where your files are, and I need to get part two. Now, there's a lot more bit. There's a lot. There's a lot more bits in here, but they. So this is the harder bit. So you paste that into there. Rename it to zero five because that's the next highest number. So and then keep a log of it. Zero five equals XRM part two, and then. Here's the slightly harder bit. Doesn't it's not that hard, personally. I don't feel. Um, copy them into T. Then go back to here. Load 
load screens. You can copy the load screens if you want them. It's just extra load screens. They're quite they're quite pretty, so I'll copy them over. And let me go back here. Director. Now, vanilla game I don't believe has a director folder, so you need to create one or copy the exist the one in the file. It would have made more sense. Actually, I'm going to do that. Don't know why I didn't do that to start off with. Control C. Control V. Now, you need to make sure... This is where it differs a bit. For AP, you want to choose a script for AP, obviously, or for Terran Conflict for that. And that you need for Terran Conflict if you're using um, Missile Defense MK2 for turrets. Don't worry about that if you're using AP, though. You see there's a lot of scripts in here. Just Control A, select them all, and go back over here into scripts, press Control V. Oh, okay, I've not, <laughs> I've not copied them. Control C, Control V. Uh, that might take a little while just to copy all the files over. And you, m I don't think you get any conflicts in this bit. Ah, oh, you do. Yep. What you want to do is just copy and paste all of them. As they'll always override the vanilla scripts. You always, you always want to override the vanilla scripts. Right now, it's for this bit slightly different. Okay, so for part three, you need to get it up. And for the move file, you simply just go in here, copy all of those files over into add-on. But, so that's copied. Copy these, copy and replace, because you want to override them. And, um, yeah, so, also, while you're here, you want to get rid of... Okay, not copy all of them. Right, you want to get rid of that, because we've got a modded version. And if you don't get rid of that, you won't hear any Betty's new sounds. Alright, for the next bit, slightly different, once you're into here, the soundtrack folder, you need to copy those, but instead of copying it into add-on, am I in the right bit? Yes, I am. Alright, instead of copying it into add-on, you have to copy it into the Terran folder. Right, there it is. Right, and then you paste those into there, because there's a lot of new voices. This is quite a large file. So it might take a little while to copy. No, it didn't take much time at all. Um, I'm not sure why I have that open as well. Don't need two of those open. Um, okay, I think I'm installing this into the right way. Yeah, I am. I'm installing it into the right bit, which is good because otherwise I'd be showing you how to do it wrong. <laughs> right, and for uh, hull, um, which bit do I always do next? Ah, docking where fix. I do this just because I don't like having. Um, not being able to put the docking computer on my small ships. Yeah, I just find it a lot more fun in the game if I can do it onto all my ships. I don't actually use Codea. Right, so six, and just instead of bothering to uh, type that out myself, I'll just shove that in there and change that to six. And make another bit. And I don't know why that's out there. Go into here. I'll get it eventually, and shove it into there, and same as before really, um, make another copy of that, shove it down there, and rename that to 7, add another line, um, and lastly, for this bit I need to copy that in, which that's simply if you're installing this in the middle of a game, really, that script for use because uh, it reloads the hull of ships uh, as it as you can probably see from the title of it and the lastly that background shove that into there and wait for it to copy come on come on come on I want to do this right, F2 and the last one's 08 so the last very last bit that we're doing for XRM is the Background pack. Uh, copy that and change the number again. Right, and that is pretty much XRM installed. Yep. Um, let me just check if there's anything else I need to do because I've still got the XRM thread open here just to make sure I'm doing everything right. Right. So that is everything installed. Correct. Uh, it should be correct. I would 
I will just test out whether that is correct. So I need to go out into here and open that up. Let's see if this will work properly. And I've clicked the wrong button. That's fine because I've got Steam open. But I'll use it with no Steam just to just make it easier on myself. And start it. Yeah. Okay, so I loaded the game up and tested it and it worked correctly. I didn't bother showing you that because that takes quite a few minutes to load up and the first time it takes can only take anywhere between two minutes to five, ten minutes to start, uh, depending on how many mods you've installed to start off with. I didn't generally when I start the game up it takes about five minutes, ten minutes because I've installed quite a few mods. But um just then it took me two minutes to open it up to start off with. And right, so that's XRM installed fully for AP. Um, any questions, leave in the comments. If there's anything that's unclear, I can add some like captions over the screen if people say that they need to be put. And, uh, thanks for watching.